Hello everyone and welcome back to From Our Basement Gaming. Hi everyone. We are back with part 80. <laughs> yeah, 80 of our parts. Echo Defender of the Future Let's Play. 80 parts. 80 parts. And I still remember the cold air from the winter and the Sorry, I'm trying to get this pen to work. Yeah. There we go. Because I'm like, we did this stuff. We recorded this stuff. Why isn't it checked off? And then I'm like, oh, because the pen won't work. Yeah. So I had to... And then it finally worked. You know how it goes. Yes, I do. It's actually all too familiar. Yep. So, thank you guys for joining us. Um, I'm hoping we'll figure out what we're doing. And what we're doing. So am I. Where is that dolphin? I am in the wrong direction. <laughs> I hate how disorienting it can be. Yeah, like. well, hey, I mean, that's why I, I didn't play through most of this game on my own because I got lost. Like in the first level, but I have a bad sense of direction, so I this, don't like this game is just like. Uh, What's this? A friend. a friend needed to guide you. A friend needed at the end. Clan turns him back. You turn him forward. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. So is this again? <laughs> <laughs> that would explain it. The clan attacked and then he went, oh, bye! <laughs> we didn't yeah. know, because we didn't talk to the glyph. Not that one, anyway. Right. Yes. 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 At least we know, yes, it's a case of you have to stay close to him or it restarts. Uh, nice yep, it's another case of are you really Echo the Dolphin? Except this time <laughs> you have enemies to. Oh no. Was that him? I think. So then we need to talk to him again, I guess. Where is he? Oh crud, he's up ahead. Are you really Echo the Dolphin? I still remember doing this yeah. in 2D, so... Yeah. I don't think it's gonna be that easy in 3D. Yeah, it's gonna be five times harder. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Where is that jerk? According to our views, this is like our second most popular yeah. Let's Play right now. Yeah. Another reason why I thank our viewers, because yeah. you kind of helped this go, actually, because... Yeah. And guys, please tell your friends. Yes. And share it, because we oh. use the views. And stick around, too. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, right now YouTube's making it very important that you have a certain number of hours for views before we can monetize. It was right. all about the subscriber count and the watch hours. So, you know, we appreciate you guys coming. Dude. Absolutely. But it's we really... We love that you guys stick around for us. For our views, it really hurts when you just stick around for two or three minutes. Or a second. <laughs> well, Especially a second. Well, I'm thinking the people that stick around for a second are like, no, I'm not going to enjoy this. And I get it. It's not your thing. But for those of you who like enjoy what we're doing, if you yeah. don't mind hanging in there with us, um, absolutely, it would really help 
us in the long run work towards um, monetizing one day. Yes. So we can make this hobby part of our in income and share our love of games with you guys. Yes. Because we love doing it. You know, we enjoy doing it, but it also wouldn't hurt to have a little bit of uh, side money today. I know that it's not much at first, that you have to be really the viral sensation to actually make a quote-unquote income, but, you know, it's, it's an estimate. Yes. Especially since we're, we're trying to play by the rules. Yeah. Mm, which is the best way, too, but... Yeah. And I think even though people have played this game, I don't I think we might be one of the only let's plays. Yeah, a very small minority of people have played Defender of the Future. And a lot of them do what are technically categorized as playthroughs where they don't talk. Right. Where they, it's just them playing and so I mean that is something we're like yeah we're probably one of the few that actually are playing this and commentating yeah um, I know it's not it's probably not a very common choice for the commentary type playing um, but why not? I, yeah. I, th I think any game you could do it. Exactly. You know, just as long as you're talking. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, you know, we, we do our best to be ourselves. Right. I'm not really interested in putting on a persona or being funny. Right. We're not those kind of twits. And I mean, I don't mean any disrespect to people that do that. I mean, there the are... Crow. Sorry. We I just knew so many who are disrespectful. <laughs> there are some who are... Yeah, I mean, there are a few that are, you know, really cheap. But I'm not discounting the really big common right. YouTube Let's Players um that have personas you know because they do put some of their own personality in it but you can just tell it's a little bit of an exaggeration and I, I get it I get it um, and that probably gets more views they probably aren't aren't used to people just fully being themselves <laughs> but um it is something we enjoy. We enjoy being authentic. Oh. Yeah, we just heard some uh, <laughs> commotion upstairs and we're wondering what that was. We're probably above my mom's bedroom, so that might have been cool. Oh. I don't know if I mentioned that either, guys. The I, new I kitty. think I did. I have a new kitty. Uh, and it's been uh, only a few days over a week since she's been here. Yes. I can't believe it. It's only been <laughs> uh, nine days, but yeah. Um, uh, she's still in my mom's room. She's hesitant with my other kitties because they've exchanged hisses. And she hasn't... She's ventured out of the room a little bit, but when she came out, the furthest she got was down the hallway. And then she bolted to my bedroom and hid under my bed. But we were concerned that that would cause my boys to attack her because that's kind of you know, their territory. They, li they lay on my bed all the time, so we kind of just got her out. <laughs> For now, it seems like the beds, under the beds, like her safe haven. Because in, in my mom's room, she does that too. And she's, she'll like play a little bit and then she'll hide under the bed. So mm -hmm. she's she's still 
getting used to things. You know, and I don't force it. When she hides under the bed, I interpret that as she needs a break. Although sometimes she just does it because she wants to have an advantage and, like, surprise attack the cat wand. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So the, she does that as well, but if she goes under and she's not coming out, I you know, assume she needs a break. So. Yes. She is a pretty cat, though. Yes. Only a year old and very much still acts like a kid. Yes. Adorable. Yes. And I don't. I don't. Oh, oh no, that's not good. That's not good at all. You guys can't see it, but. <laughs> I am uh, definitely going Closing to get a migraine. Closing his eyes. I'm definitely going to get a migraine if I keep looking at that. So. Yeah, I'm not sure how to. Uh, I don't think pause you it. can play that way. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, you guys can't. You guys can't see it, but the um, the image is basically strobing right now. Yeah. It's a good. Th it's a good thing that it's not recording for you guys. Because we would literally have to have a seizure warning there. Yeah, and then you'd be uh, entertained at all the f visual problems that come with uh, having an HDMI cable that acts up like the one we have. Yeah, we don't know if the cable's old or constantly getting loose. Like, I don't know if it doesn't fit tightly in the TV just naturally. I'm really not right. sure. Yes, we're going to have to look into that at some point. Yes. Okay, so... Are you the real Echo the Dolphin? Are you sure you're Echo the Dolphin? Yeah. I don't know. I think Echo would have been able to keep up with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah... That was one of the most hysterical lines from Titan. I'm like, I'm like, I'm getting... See, that's... You know, that game is smart. Like that. I mean, they didn't have to take the time to program that. I mean, they could just have it reset each time, but they didn't. They decided to put that in, which yeah. I thought was really cute. And that, that's why I was kind of over it when that person said that... Oh, if you put in the password with the cheat, the game has a bug where it doesn't let you advance. I'm like, that's not a bug. That's the game being smart. Yeah, that's the game security measure. Yeah, that's the game saying you're cheating, so I'm not going to let you progress. Yeah, and we encountered that because some of the passwords we from the website we had were uh, not really good. Yeah, and the graphics were off too. And I'm like, that's just the game being smart. Yeah. And unfortunately, since we had to, you rely on passwords in the second game even though we used legitimate means to beat tides of time it still accused us of cheating yeah and i'm like no we didn't cheat is that the uh, next time try it on a real difficulty right. yeah next time try it without cheats or however it said it yeah but I'm like, I'm pretty sure we weren't supposed to get that unless we accidentally put in a bad password because, I don't know, but they're apparently bad at giving us the regular passwords. Yeah, and I think it doesn't help with the muddying of the waters that uh, many of the passwords that they got confused and type in fake passwords thinking it was the real one, and yeah. thus... Uh, 
puts you in that situation where suddenly you're thinking you're getting a legit password to get back to where you left off, yeah. and you try it, and next thing you know, you're being accused of cheating by the video game. Yeah, unless his intent was to have you sit down and play Tides of Time without any password, which is impossible difficulty. Right, not unless you're someone who has YouTube gobs of free time and yeah. can do that, but realistically speaking, you need to pause, t stop playing, and mm -hmm. come back to it at a later time. Yeah. So, and I don't know, I don't know if that's a case of, um, I know he was concerned about people renting the game and beating it, so I don't know if that was a case of, like, maybe he assumed people were renting it and just using cheats to get to the last level. I, I don't know. Uh, or, you know, or they just use a password to get to the end of the game. Right. Now... I did that myself just to look at all of the stages, like not necessarily to be like, ha, ah, I beat it, but you know, just to see every level, um, because I really wanted to look at every level, and see what it offered, um, if that makes sense. It does make sense. Yeah. Because that's what I like to do anyway, so... For me personally, that's what I used debug modes for. Mm -hmm. uh, less, that's... less for cheating, so to speak, yeah. and more for just you know, like as it's our... going to take me a very long time, if at uh, all. As, as I remember, you were curious as to how the rest of the game was. And... Yes, and I've been pretty open about not being the most skilled gamer. And so right. I'm like, it'll take me forever if I can beat it at all. And I want to see the entire game. So I do use passwords or, or often the debug mode to see um, all of sure, your levels. Me. Yeah. And of course, with newer games, that's nearly impossible because they kind of got rid of the, that kind of system. Yes, they did get rid of that kind of system. Thankfully, though, people play it on uh, online, so I can see the whole game that way. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's absolutely no other way. Um, but sometimes, occasionally, I get annoyed at some of the Let's Plays I come across. And then it's like, so I end up putting it on mute, and then I get angry because I also can't hear the game. <laughs> so I have to find a playthrough for some of them. Right. Because sometimes even with Let's Players that I like, they just, for whatever reason, that day are doing jokes that don't jive with me or that annoy me. Um, and then I get annoyed. Or sometimes I just am not in the mood for joking, and I just want somebody to like take the story of the game seriously, and um, you know, but not all the time. But with certain games, I felt that way. Yes. Um, like there were certain games that had really serious, impactful stories, and the person I was watching was still like cracking jokes, and I'm like. I'm trying to, like, absorb the message of this game. I don't need the jokes right now. Yeah. I don't think it's required, also, to be funny as a Let's Player. And maybe that's controversial, but I don't think you have to be funny 24-7. I think as long as you're being unique or adding something... You don't always have to be cracking jokes, but that's just my opinion. I mean, and I think we have plenty of fun, too. We, I we, so too. we make jokes and stuff, but we also talk about serious right. things. Right. 
I think we have a good balance. Yes, between history, jokes, uh, fun things, our daily lives, and yeah. uh, things that happen outside the game. Yeah. For the most part. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't know how the live stream would do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm like if uh bigger da, da, da. energy drinks um uh a daily diet of uh Red Bull and Doritos da, da, da. I think the big one now is G Fuel mm, okay. which, which is kind of like I think it's kind of like Monster Energy but like gamers G oh fuel, boy. Gamer fuel, I think. Yes. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. True. But I noticed a, a, a few videos um, sponsored by G Fuel. Right. Do they also use uh, Taco Bell and... I would have hoped not. Only because streamers have to be sitting there constantly for several hours live. So... Uh -huh. I don't think they'd want to do something like Taco Bell that tends to give intestinal distress at times. Oh, yeah, you're right. Because you'd have to take a break, you know. You would, I think they would need to have food that could, you know, be settled, you know, keep the stom stomach calm. But I don't right. know because I don't really watch a lot of live streamers. So I don't know if they're there, like, eating pizza or... Also, tacos are messy, so... Yeah. <laughs> they would probably be making too much of a mess. Um, pizza seems like, even though that's messy too, that seems like something that would be easier. Because right. you can just pick it up and take bites. And With the crust or... Yeah. As, yeah. as long as... You know, they make sure not to make their hands too greasy. Right. Uh, and get all that expensive equipment. Yeah. Like when I was younger, I thought about, like, friends having a pizza party with uh, mm -hmm. soda and pizza and then hanging out playing hours of video games, whether it was Sega or Nintendo or... Oh, yeah, and, and that's, you know, when I did the... Um, the release party for Brawl, uh, and we were playing Melee, they had pizza and so on. Oh, that's nice. But, um, yeah, but I, I think in that case, when you're just playing with your friends, that makes sense, because you can, you know, have the napkins. And, and also, you're just playing with your video game. You don't have, like, expensive microphones and cameras and, you right. know stuff that, you know, people who are on the professional end spend thousands and thousands Oh, God, on. yeah. Um, I also just can't imagine it, because I can't actually imagine being in front of the camera for that extended period of time. Right. Uh, I'm very much an introvert, so I can't imagine uh, not only having to be on with my voice, which I'm more comfortable doing just with my voice, but being in front of the camera, because sometimes live streamers will do upwards of five, seven, almost ten hours. Now some do shorter spurts of like one to three hours, but yeah. I've, I've, I know some of them get up there very long, and that's why I don't watch it much because I don't sit around for that long. I have to get up every day. Let alone... Uh, the types of people who use their avatar as their physical representative. Oh yeah, that looks even weirder. Yes. Like, you know, where they pay for a 3D avatar and they actually like have them there in that space. Like, I've seen video podcasts where, like, you know, the, they'll have people that, you know, are themselves on camera, and then they'll have the VTuber there, yeah. like, in the same space, and it just looks so weird to me. It's like, I, 
I imagine that's expensive. So first of all, I can't imagine spending the money <laughs> to do that. And second of all, it just looks kind of off-putting to me. It, it kind of like reminds me of um, like those old live action movies where like before we tried to make all the characters CGI you literally just have the 2D character there. <laughs> kind of reminds me of that. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, but anyway. Uh, though me saying this, this doesn't mean we will never attempt a live stream. Either. No. We, we might for a special event one day. We've been talking about it for a while. Yeah. Uh, about doing it for like a special occasion or something special like uh, like for charity or for... Even though the idea of showing my face is a little bit scary, but... Yes. Understandable. But I might. I just have to not be self-conscious. <laughs> I just realized that these dolphins have little markings on their sides. Yeah. Well, I think um, someone pointed out to us that these dolphins have gills. Yeah. Yeah. Which is very strange, but... Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's just... I'm sure it can be done, but... Um, when we do do it, you'll have to be patient with us, because we might be right. fumbling around a little bit. We probably will. Yeah, cause, especially because we're used to, if we, you know, make a big blunder, just being able to edit it out. Right. <laughs> so, like, we're horrified of, like, saying something um, accidentally. Bad. Either something bad or like, you know, accidentally name dropping something that we didn't want to. Yeah, because we do that a lot, actually. Yeah. Because Connor and I just kind of, we're used to just like, sitting around and chatting. Yeah, we And are. just saying what's on our minds. So, trying to train ourselves to like, think about it a little bit. Uh, because we're not just talking to each other, we're talking to you guys. Yeah, to you're our third, collective third person. <laughs> yeah, so like, training ourselves to do that has been a learning process. Yes, it has. Yeah. So I imagine that would be a struggle with live streaming and the show. That end, I'm like, you know, you have to go to the bathroom. Oh, but I can't because it's a live stream, you know? Yeah. That too. Oh, you dogs. Dog stubborn. Sorry. This, uh, uh, sorry for that word. Um, if you said the word, I thought you said Blocks? Yeah. My apologies, yeah. This spiky dolphin dude is, uh, holding us back, progress-wise. Yeah. I, I don't know, I, I don't know if any of our viewers find that word offensive, but if you do, we do apologize. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. I mean, it's weird. We, we have a restaurant named that, so it's kind of... <laughs> I guess it's not really a, a offensive to Americans, but... Well, oh, certainly if you belong in that <laughs> industry. Yeah. Yeah, we're almost out of time again. Yeah. So, uh, that kind of means we're probably not going to get through the rest of this until after the hiatus. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. But, at least by then we should know what we're doing, hopefully. Yes. 
So yeah, next month we will have a different game uh, on Mondays. Yes. But we will get back to this in a few months. After we do the other two games that we have. Yes. So, but we think you'll enjoy those two games. And I guess we will stop here for now. See you guys later. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.